This is a frozen Samsung screen, and yeah, it can happen even when you're reading the Bible. So there are a whole lot of things that can cause these app crashes, internal crashes, system failure, uh, display drivers, screen issues, flex, and all of that. This screen is not responding, the touch screen. And as you can see, the power button is working and still the touch screen is not working. And also the fingerprint is working. So there are many ways to go about, you know, fixing this, uh, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. If you know how to code and do ADB Android development commands, you can use ADB command to either reboot recovery or restart your phone. But in this phone, I'm going to show you what you're going to do quickly. And this should work for all Samsung phone. Press down the power button and the volume down together simultaneously so you press and hold down the volume and the power button the power menu will pop up still keep holding it for about seven to eight ten seconds uh, the phone will be forced to restart and this is you know handy if you're in a place where you can't reach a computer or any other thing you just restart the phone if there is no major issue with your screen or touch screen um, after that restart most of the things should be able to to work well and you can put in your password to go into your phone and use your phone again so yeah <laughs> so that's it <laughs> a very simple trick uh, that could be useful for someone out there so if you're watching like share follow subscribe and then and make sure you uh, drop any comment in the comment section uh, if you have any other issue like this or something different or this didn't work for you. I will still be able to do that. And one of the things I will tell people is that try as much as you can to restart your phone maybe once daily if you're using an Android phone, you know, to keep everything refreshed and going good. So make sure you follow me here, subscribe until I see you in the next one.